Here we go in the Harvest 2021. As uh, most people know, or if you didn't know, this year I am off of the large farm I was on last year, well for seven years, the 103,000 acre farm, and I'm on to a different farm. Going after more social media stuff, more social media kind of freedom, and you know, so um, I left cordially, and um, you know, it was good, it's perfect. Where am I now? Where, where am I? I'm clearly not in the capital combine right now, but afterwards I, I did receive some job offers from a bunch of people. Uh, there's a ton, there's a, a lot, a lot from all over the place, all over, actually all over the world. Where, where, where did I end up? Where did I end up? Well, uh, I got a message, you know, somebody saw that I was not on the old farm. Somebody hit me, uh, D, DM me on Twitter and said, hey, you wanna come check out our farm? Went, check this farm out. You know, guys seem great. I said, let's do this. So where, where is this? Where is this farm? It is in Ardrossan, Alberta. And uh, it goes from Ardrossan, the Thorchild area. And it's a 17,000 acre farm, which is a big farm. It's a huge, it's still a huge, these farms are still huge. These are huge farms, it's a lot of land. It's Elm Farms. These, met these guys, a lot of people actually in the farming community know these guys as well. So. They're great, they seem like awesome people. Everything seems to be really good. And thankfully, you know, the green, green, green equipment, uh, they run green equipment. <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's like, it's got green on it. It's, maybe it's not the same, but you know, it's a uh, cloth. Great. And funny enough, I just did a poll on the cloth stuff. You know, it's gonna be awesome to actually get to drive this cloth combine. Uh, I'm very excited. So here's, here it is. It's hard to break out of, you know, the, your brand. Everyone is kind of stuck on whatever brand they have and they continue with it because it's familiarity. But, you know, it's almost like there's a little bit of a, a brainwashing going on there with your brand and that's kind of what they keep up with. Well, here's a little bit of footage, you know, on them studying me to see how stuck I am and brainwashed I am into the John Deere brand. Here's a little bit. Ah, so you get your brand there and they be stuck in your John Deere and you're thinking about switching and boom, they give you something. They you know, start throwing you some hats and some gear and yeah, they go, wow, we got a great deal for you on a new John Deere. And uh, you know, keep coaxing it and you look at the case and they go, nah, motherfucker, grab this one, this John Deere, that case shit. And they go, ah, oh, like new Holland guys come on, see my, the Lexing guys, and you're just like, no, fucking John Deere, John Deere. That's what they do. And they just say, so I was obviously the woman feeding the chicken. Um, you know, transgenderism is cool now, and uh, uh, I'm also a minority. So, you know, I did end up, you know, banging and eating that chicken after, and it was great. So, but this, this year is going to be great. It's going to be that chicken stuff that I was talking about, it's going to be nothing compared to how great this year is going to be. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty excited. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great year. And I'm going to do more social media. Um, you know, got more freedom here. We'll see you in the field. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, yeah. And the, the guy from Saskatchewan that came for a job and then ended up turning it down. So you're lost, man, because the very first day we all gave each other blows. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened there. Like I was saying, that uh, guy, the first day, we all gave each other balloons uh, with our names on them that we get to keep in the cabs for the whole year. So, oh man, you are missing out.